Listen and read. Mixing different styles of music creates a unique sound called a mashup. Musicians have been creating mashups for more than fifty years. Many combine sounds from just two songs, but some might include parts from as many as twenty-five songs. Many mashup artists are DJs who use electronic equipment to mix together songs that already exist. These DJs decide what songs to use and how to mix them. Then they record their mashups. Next, the DJs edit their recordings to make sure they sound as cool as possible. DJs. Aren't the only ones that create musical mashups? Bands do too. One band that does this is the Wagaki Band from Japan. This band mixes the sounds of traditional Japanese instruments with rock music. The song they performed in their first video was a big hit. More than thirty million people saw the video on the internet. People from all over the world downloaded the song from this video. Another mashup band is Gobi System from Dakar, Senegal. This band mixes rap with ancient West African music in a style called ancient meets urban. The band performs with other famous singers and artists. Fans come from all over to hear them play. People have different opinions of mashup music. Some people prefer more traditional music styles. Others think that a mix of sounds is cooler than just one type of music. But no matter what you think of them, mashups provide an audio experience you won't forget. Philippe Ekmans visited Brazil and saw how football, volleyball, dance, and music all came together on its beaches. He created a sport that mixed all of these together: bossaball. Bossaball is more unusual than some other sports because it's played on a huge blow-up court with a trampoline in it. It's easier to plan a game because it can be played indoors or outdoors. Players say they're more active playing bossaball than regular volleyball. It's harder but more enjoyable. Music is usually played during games. Fans say that bossaball is as fun as a party. They say it's better than watching other sports because of the music. A hybrid sport mixes two or more sports. To create a new sport, hybrid sports aren't often as popular as the original sports they come from, but they can still be really fun to play. Most players love golf because they play it outdoors, but some players hate how it can be expensive to play. Disc golf is a hybrid sport that is a less expensive version of golf. Disc golf is more popular than other hybrid sports. It's played in more than forty countries. In the game, players try to throw a disc into a metal bucket. Not all discs are the same size. Some are bigger than others, which makes it harder to get them in the bucket. A feast for the eyes. Using food to create art, we've all seen art created from paint, clay, metal, and stone. But British photographer and artist Carl Warner goes to the supermarket to buy his art supplies. Carl creates what he calls foodscapes. He combines different types of food to imitate real landscapes. Then he photographs them. One of his foodscapes, carts and balloons, is a countryside scene. In this foodscape, a few leafy green stalks of broccoli are a forest. 
a few pieces of bread, are used to make a cart. There are some berries in the cart and some potatoes as rocks. Some yellow sweet corn and a few cucumbers are the fields. Hot air balloons made from bunches of bananas and other fruit float in the sky. Some clouds of white bread float in the sky too. It might seem a little weird to create art out of food, but Carl hopes that his work will get children excited about eating healthy foods. Combining food and art is not a modern idea. Giuseppe Arcimboldo, a 16th century Italian painter, also combined different types of food to create original art. In 1590, Emperor Rudolf II asked Giuseppe to paint his portrait. The result was really unusual. Called Vertumnus, after the Roman god of fruit, the painting shows a face made of fruit, vegetables and flowers. Giuseppe painted one pea pod for each top eyelid, two baby onions for each bottom eyelid, one grape for each eye, a pear for the nose, an apple for one cheek and a peach for the other. Can you imagine what the emperor's face looked like? Luckily, the emperor was happy with this unusual portrait. Thank you.